now so far we've covered emotional disturbances, we've covered phobias, now we're going to cover trauma bases, okay? So emotionally based traumas in the body, all right? So let's say that as a child something happened to Jeffrey that was very traumatic, okay? Most people that is definitely the case. Not everybody had a, uh, a Mayberry Andy Griffith uh, household, you know? So let's ask, do you have anything traumatic uh, that uh, that comes to mind. Uh, you don't have to say exactly what it is. Just no. yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's, <laughs> okay. That's the thing. He may not. That you know, your your client may not be comfortable with talking about it to you. No problem. Does it make one bit of difference? Okay. So he just simply says yes. Okay. When he says yes, he's already thought of all the things that, and so he's accessed all these parts of his body that control these things. And so he's aligned the energy for us, so now we just tap it out. So I take the finger again, same technique, nothing new here. Okay, so you've got, you know, what you on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad does it bother you? A 10. Okay, a 10, okay. So great, let's see how long it takes to go away. Search for all, remove all, clear all. Okay, and we'll give that just a minute. And... A lot of times, uh, your client may describe these feelings as breaking up off them, or they may feel lighter. Uh, you'll even notice sometimes that physical ailments, like sore, uh, sore knees or sore backs, things like that, get better, simply because the emotional stress, the energy that is being used to create this emotion, should be going to irrigate these areas, and it's not. It's going to hold this emotion in place. And so once you break up that emotion, then as the energy in the meridians and the, and the blood can go into the places that it needs to go and irrigate these areas properly. Now this is not always a complete removal of these physical problems because there could be damage caused by long-term stagnation in those areas that you might want to physically nagong to get it out of there. So if you have my tape on physical nagong, then you know what to do on that. But we covered that already, so we're going to continue moving forward. So I asked Jeffrey now, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is the trauma now? About 7 or 8. Okay. Now you notice that the trauma only came down a couple of three points over the period of the minute that I've been talking. Sometimes traumas are very deep-seated. They have protective barriers on them where he's, where he's psychically, so to speak, protected himself. He's encapsulated these, these feelings or emotions. And so uh, I can, I'm going to show you another technique at breaking through that relatively quickly. Now, I don't have to use this technique, okay? I could continue to hit the search for all, remove all, clear all, simply on the trauma, and it will continue to alleviate. More than likely, uh, the, the number is still going down, but let's check. Do you feel the number is still declining, or you feel it's leveled off? It's leveled off. Okay, so it has leveled off. Okay, no problem. So, I go, I think in my mind, protection, okay, you know, Jeffrey protecting these things, search for all, remove all, clear all, okay? Now this will remove Jeffrey's ability to protect himself from these things. Now that may sound scary, but it's actually just the opposite, okay? You want to, you want to let these things open up and breathe. You know, sometimes the, uh, the client may start to break down and cry in tears or something like that after you've done this, okay? But they will very briefly get over. I mean, it, it won't last very long at all. I mean, maybe a minute or two, and then they, they've had a little cry, and then it's come out, you know. But this toxic pool of sludge that builds up in the body as a result of this energy stagnation by suppressing emotions or stagnating emotional uh, growth and development uh, causes great damage to the body and must be released. So, now I've just removed the protection, all right? That's all I've done. I have not treated the trauma again unprotected. So let's check and see how Jeffrey's doing. On a scale of 1 to 10, what number would you give to it? It's mixed up right now. Right. Okay. All right. He can't really put something on it. Because, see, the protective barrier uh, was helping to give him a reference for it. Once we remove the protective barrier, now we can delve into it. So let's go ahead now and finish that trauma off. Okay? So I think, in my mind, the trauma Jeffrey was talking about, and that's all I think. The trauma Jeffrey was talking about or telling me about. Search for all, remove all, clear all. Okay? And we'll give that just a minute 
and then that more than likely will be the end of it. But if it's not, I simply repeat the steps again. And, you know, usually you never have to do it any more than three times to get it done. So the first time I hit the trauma, and the trauma subsided, but it didn't go completely away. It dropped from a 10 to a 7. I took the protection layer, Jeffrey's ability to protect himself from it, off. And then the th on the third round, I hit the trauma again. And so let's see, what number would you give to the trauma now? Okay, three and still dropping. So there's a good chance that I don't have to do anything else and it'll drop off completely by itself. But we'll come back in a few minutes, uh, and I won't make you sit here for this, but we'll come back in a few minutes and check Jeffrey, but I won't do any more therapy to him until uh, we, you know, we record it on video. Okay, it's been about two minutes off camera, something to that effect. And we're back, and so I'm going to ask Jeffrey now what his interpretation is. I haven't done any more therapy or anything. All right, what is your what is your number now that you would give to the trauma? A one. Okay, and so if he's at a one, I know that if I hit it one more time, that's going to be the end of it. However, if it does reach a one, typically, like 99% of the time, it's going to go ahead and alleviate. In fact, do you still feel it getting weaker, or, or has it leveled off? I'm getting weaker. Okay. All right, so it is getting weaker. Now, like I say, uh, it's very important that you ask your client, you know, what, uh, you know, has it leveled off or does it feel like it's still descending? Uh, because if it's leveled off, of course, you want to hit it again. If it's still descending, it is not necessary, but you can hit it again with the technique. So just for good measure, I will do one more time. Search for all, remove all, clear all. And uh, in a few seconds, you know, there'll be nothing. So uh, I'm not even worried about it. So we're just going to move on to the next technique, which is uh, story, uh, story tapping, so to speak. 